Practical work is a big part of GCSE physics, and there are three main categories. We might have a demonstration with a piece of apparatus that your teacher talks through, and this allows you to understand some of the underlying physics. There are also experiments where you actually try and find the value of something, perhaps the density of an object or the specific heat capacity. And then the third type are investigations, where you look at the link between two different quantities. You'll have your independent variable that you're changing, and then you can see how that affects your dependent variable. And often that's when you then plot a graph to look at your data. Now I've made loads of videos that explain all of the main practicals that you might come across for GCSE physics. A lot of these are the ones that your exam board say that you need to know about, but there are so many more that you might see when you're doing your physics at school. In each video I show you the real equipment, I look at any hazards that there might be, and then we take some data. And you can actually pause the video and take your own values. Each experiment is also backed up with a results table for you to fill in, as well as a set of my sample data. And later on in the video, I go through how I actually analyse that data myself. So do have a look at the videos where I go through some of the common bits of equipment and standard procedures that you need to know about for your GCSE physics.